Hello, everybody. Today, you will see two epic chase polices at high speed. Thanks for watching. This video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. Your comments and criticisms are, of course, well, you know the deal. They are welcomed. For these videos, I once again want to thank Police Pursuits. The links to the originals will be in the description. On April 11, 2023, at approximately 8.42 p.m., Trooper Mark Keith Neal observed a white Oldsmobile traveling northbound on Highway 79, passing 6th Street, with its high beams on due to a headlight being out. I then turned around to initiate a traffic stop on the vehicle. While closing the distance on the vehicle, the driver attempted to pull into a Shell gas station on Blake Street near Barack Street, where I initiated my emergency lights. The driver of the vehicle, later known as Brandon McAfee, traveled through the parking lot attempting to evade me. Due to the fact that the suspect drove on a low busy road, Trooper Markeith Neal almost immediately decided to apply the pit maneuver and end the chase here before they reached the busy streets. The suspect decided to give the police officer a brake check every time he attempted a pit maneuver, but that didn't help him. He rolled, he rolled, he rolled, he rolled. Get now running, get now running. Put your hands up. Show me your hands. Show me your hands. After the pit maneuver, the suspect decided to try to escape into the woods but was soon chased by police and arrested. Hey, get up, get up, man, come on. You shouldn't have took off running. what I do? Hold on. It was, a, it was a simple, it was a minor traffic violation. what I do? See, you took off. Hello. Hey. All right, come on, I'm gonna pull him up. The chase began when a police officer spotted a pickup truck with fake license plates and the truck was listed as stolen. After the chase ended, four guns and drugs were found on him.
In this chase, the suspect was also doing a brake check to prevent the police officer from making a pit maneuver. The suspect continued fleeing on Bridgeport under I-55 and then ran off the roadway and across the field. Several West Memphis police officers and I drove across the field as the driver and front seat passenger exited the truck, fleeing on foot through the field. Officer Langston with the West Memphis Police Department was able to apprehend the driver, Christopher McAfee, and the front seat passenger, Rebecca McDonald. The back seat passenger, Randy Jocko, was apprehended by members of the West Memphis Police Department. Funny fact. All the cars that ended up in the field had to be pulled out of by a tow truck. All of them got stuck in the field with water. I think we're all stuck. So, uh, you get out and I'll, let me try it and see. I look forward to your comments under this video, and thank you for watching.